Hello, this is my review of the CX or VX2500 ventilation fan. I tend to install it in the attic up by the uh, uh, eaves of the house where the uh, there's an existing uh, ventilation area. I want to point out a couple things I didn't discover when I looked online at the reviews so others would have a sense of the installation process. In the uh, two or three page manual it talks about cutting out a board and then placing the fan inside the board and bolting the fan to the board. So I did that. I had to find a board, cut out a 15 inch circumference out of the center, and then the, the edges of the fan slipped down just to meet the bottom end of the board all the way around. Then I noticed when I went to check to make sure the fan free spins, the uh, pliable aluminum, I guess, in shipping was bent, so the uh, fan blades would hit the inner edges. It's pretty scary if it's in the attic and it starts scraping. That could cause uh, some serious fire issues, of course, so I had to straighten that out. Third thing I noticed, uh, three of these L brackets are provided. Uh, however, they only provide three bolts and three nuts. I'm sorry, four L brackets. Uh, four bolts and four nuts. They don't provide any hardware as per instructions to mount the bracket to a sheet of wood or to the house. So you get four bolts, four nuts, that's it for the hardware. Seems like they could have at least added some screws or bolts to mount it to the piece of plywood, otherwise it's a trip to the hardware store. Then upon inspection of the uh, thermostat, I've already closed mine up. It just snaps open and closed. There's no screws on it. Also, no rubber grommet is provided for the wiring. With this top off, all that's exposed is the, uh, the wires that lead to either the fan directly or an additional wire to the thermostat. I've bypassed my thermostat internally because I'm controlling this fan via home automation technology. So I want to share that with you. The fan does power up. It uh, is relatively quiet. And uh, my next step is to go up into the attic and install it. But I wanted to point out those nuances for the uh, do-it-yourselfers that uh, are unaware of the necessity to uh, cut holes in plywood and find extra nuts and bolts and so forth. I'm sure the manual is online and it might behoove everybody to take a look at that before you get started. That's it.